Good afternoon, everyone. You got your main correspondent here, Alan Taylor, bringing it to you today. Yes. Oh, man. Yes, we got a good one. Uh, we got one from Miss Didi here, and we also going to have another one from Coach Greg Adams. We already know the coach, you know what I'm saying? Free agent lifestyle, Captain Coach Greg Adams. Let's do this, you know what I'm saying? So now we're going to start off with Miss Didi. Let's, let's go here. Let's go ahead and play the clip. You know Gloria Steinem? Here, let me give you a hint. So I was reading an online article to which I came across something that I didn't know about Gloria. It talks about Gloria's new book, My Life on the Road, recounting her life, journeys, and travels. But look at the bottom paragraph. What is often missed or mischaracterized, however, is the work she did as a CIA agent. Steinem was a spook. Confused, I decided to dig a little deeper. Black feminism, the CIA, and Gloria Steinem. What follows is a fact sheet about Gloria Steinem's operations against the various social and political movements in America, particularly her role in creating a hateful and virulent strain of black feminism that attacks black men while partnering with the white establishment. Steinem Dang. first came across the radar of black men when she put a book called Black Macho and the Myth of the Superwoman by Michelle Wallace on the cover of Miss Magazine, which she controlled. Let's read on. The book was written by a black feminist and activist, quote unquote, named Michelle Wallace, who came out of nowhere. She was in her early 20s, yet she was being touted as the leader of black feminism. In the book, Wallace called abolitionists like Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth ugly and stupid for supporting black men. She called black revolutionaries chauvinist macho pigs and advised black women to go it alone. And at that time and at that time and day, you know what I'm saying, you had uh all types of black revolutionaries out uh mark clark um uh huey p newton all the, this was back in you know back in the heyday so you know man you already see it right here for yourself you know what i'm saying that the, the turn of the back the turn of the back alone or alone do it alone i don't know but people what gloria said Gloria Steinem said that Wallace's book would define the future of black relationships, and she pushed hard to make sure the book received massive publicity. Define the future of black relationships? What's the bottom line? The bottom line is the so-called black feminist movement was created and manipulated by the CIA from the very beginning. The only difference between black revolutionaries and black feminists on this issue is that black revolutionaries know they were infiltrated and manipulated, but black feminists are still unwilling to admit that they were infiltrated and manipulated largely because they are highly invested in the hateful brand of black feminism. It is now- There you go right there. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, let's just, for real though, because it is what it is. And there we go. The CIA, that ain't the first time they tried to, where they infiltrated with other things. They came in in the 80s with the, with the, uh, the, the cocaina and all the other crazy crap and the, you know, uh, the drug scene and stuff like that. And these are open records, you know what I'm saying? Where the CIA has been, you know, put out on front street because they made these types of moves. And, you know, <laughs> it's crazy to see that you, you know, the, the country that you live in is also invested in your own demise, which you would think like, you know, it's like, man, wow. But everything for the dollar, everything for the dollar. All right, here, we about to switch over to uh, young coach right here. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? The coach, Greg Adams, you know, captain coach. There we go. Let's let's see what the coach got to say right now. Hey, check this out. Let me show you this. And yes, I'm still on the point. Watch this. Again, for the bird brains in the building. I've seen this. I've seen this meme posted by women who believe that they're fascinating, who believe that they're remarkable, who believe that they're trying to say, well, I'm not a gold digger, so that makes me better. By the way, wow. some gold digging ass women win in life. I'm sorry. That's true. That's very much some true. Some gold digging ass women figure it out and they be like, look, this is all I have to offer. I'm going to leverage that and I'm going to leverage that until I get what I want. And then Boom. they win. But of course, yeah. shame, chastisement, all of the Puritan values will say that that person is a low life. But they continue to win and you're expecting karma to hit them and all the evils to be heaped on them. And, and yet that's what they chose to do. But this woman right here, mostly women put this. And I'm going to tell you, this is a dangerous mindset for men. Read it. And it says right here, when she wants your time and not your money, she loves you. This is false. Boom. Boom. Because to be honest with you now, you know, we all know, you know, as far as um, 
how things go for men on this planet you know what i'm saying uh the, the taking care of women and things like that you know she's sitting there she's sitting there telling you you know what i'm saying it's just about love and not about money i'm not saying all but at the end of the day there's a large percentage of women out here yeah we know they move for money so and if you know this and you live life long enough as a man and you know how the majority of women move of course, because not every woman the same, just like not every man is the same. But if you see that the majority of women are moving in such a way, you do have to logically prepare yourself for that way of thinking so you can uh, uh, learn how to maneuver those mountains and, and dis disregard those barriers and things like that so you could be safe for yourself. This is false. Not only that, it is worse than gold digging, in my opinion. But a lot of blue pill plugged in mouth breather, knuckle dragger, missing link, ham and eggers, and oxygen thieves think that this remakes makes her. He be killing me with them ham and eggers on everything. He be killing me with the motherfucking ham and eggers. <laughs> Remarkable. When this is actually more devastating to you as a young man. This is actually more dangerous to you as a young man than anything else. I don't care about your money. I'm not a gold digger. She's trying to separate herself from the classes of the gold diggers and the money mindset women. She's actually trying to put her in a situation where she's in the upper echelon. Many times she lives in a apartment building with bars on the window, Captain Crunch crumbs all over the floor. She lives off section eight in welfare. She's a single mom and so forth and so on. And she's trying to say, I love you. Therefore, it is your time that matters, not your money. This is dangerous. And I want you to understand it. It's dangerous because technically it is a lie. If if you meet if as a man if you meet a, a woman that's in that type of predicament of, of a situation, and yes, all women want better. I don't care whether they the most gutter uh, uh, bitch that you can come by, or the most highly uh, educated woman that you can come by, or the, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? All women want you to come to the table with some bread, and the, the bread is to help to sustain her life because that's what they want they want to they want you to be able to take care of them you don't want a woman like this because your most valuable asset is your time and the most basically thing the, the one thing that we have in the absence of money the one thing we're willing to waste in the absence of, absence of money is time we hear this conversation all the time and i don't want to rehash it been there before you know, I've been there before, and it's not a man on this planet that hadn't been there before. And if he says he hasn't, he's a fucking lie. He's a fucking lie. Every man has been there where they have wasted more time uh, uh, with women, just wasting time versus actually building himself and, 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 and doing things that he need to do for himself and his surroundings for his future. Every man has been there before, but we also do wake up. Real talk. But a lot of guys keep saying paying for peace leave makes you weaker. But uh, in the absence of money, what they're saying is if they use time, they'll get valuable women. They'll get women sold. They'll get women to do what they want. They'll get women to build with them and perform with you. And that absolutely Wrong. has been proven not to be the case. It has also been proven that no matter how much time you spend with them, it's never enough. It has also been proven when you start removing the time, she starts to interfere and sabotage you as an individual. You work too much. You're never here. It's like I'm a single mother and I'm married. You're away at work all the time and all I want is a little bit of your time. So you start giving. And see, that's the point. That's the point that a lot of women don't understand. That's the reason why women need to be able to understand. They need to sit down and actually use their brain and do some real thinking. It takes time, but a man needs to work. Work takes time. That's part of his time. At the end of the day, in order to pay these bills and get this and this and that and woo to woo and all this and pay for this house and insurance, life insurance, health insurance, uh, uh, car insurance, notes, mortgage, all, all the stuff that you have to pay for as an adult. It takes time away from uh, for a man. It takes time away being away from the family, being on the job consistently putting in those hours in order to gain that money that's just how it goes you know and for a woman to sit there and say you know and try to cobble up all your time see the, the deal was the thing was back in the day 
when men used to have to work all the time and women stayed home, women had hobbies. They would sew along with cooking and cleaning the house, making sure the house was stable, stuff like that. But they would sew, knit. Uh, uh, they also had other friend girls to talk to. This was back in the day before women actually started hating each other. And don't, don't dispute me on that because at the end of the day, you women nowadays do not have friend girls that y'all could talk to that are pleasant people that actually want to see uh, uh, good for your life and vice versa. Y'all women are at war at the same time too. That's the reason why y'all trying to turn now and you want all this man's time to come in and, and sustain the time that you supposed to be getting from your friend girls. Did you, did you just catch that? That this, this is the problem. Nowadays, women are trying to take up a man's time, which she should be having friend girls to take up that time. And, and each one of them, it's all family oriented. If, if, if the community is a family, families make up husband and wife and children. The community is the family. OK, so now let's say if that's the case. All the men in the community, they work. So all the men know each other in the community. All the women know each other in the community. The children do too. At the end of the day, it's a it's a network that happens. And when, when you do networking, networking is also based upon people fucking skills. The women are supposed to get along uh, enough to where everybody's, uh, uh, the women can come together and they could talk about other things other than a bunch of drama and who, who uh, uh, who's sad today and who's not getting what they want and all this other type of stuff you know it's, it's a lot to it and the men come together and talk about how they could try to uh, do things and, and put their resources together to help better the community which is also protecting the community as a whole within itself her a little bit more of your time taking your eyes off the prize and then she ends up sabotaging your life still well, you're here too much and you're you're watching me you're doing this and that and she's offering you nothing of value when you remove yourself from the prize see my thing of it is is something that i definitely noticed like i just said previously women are not getting along with each other anymore i'm sorry but the reason why these modern day women want so much of a man's time is because they have no solid friend girls to talk to or to deal with or to interact with or anything. Women have a problem with it, uh, with amongst themselves that needs to be resolved in order for you to have the balance that we need the where a man could go to work. He won't be so super up. Uh, he'll be missed. But yes, though, it's not going to it's going to be a balance. It's going to be a balance. Because everybody has the proper time to spend with each, with each other. Back in the day, women hung with women, men hung with men. They all got married. They had families, all this and that. But at the end of the day, though, the man went to took his tail to work. The women, they gathered and shared recipes and every other little thing they need to do or talk or whatever. Or congregate how they congregate. And that's how it goes. You women in modern society do not have solid friend girls that you could trust to talk to. That's the reason why y'all demanding such a so much more time from a man. He doesn't have the time to give to you if he's going to go out and gather the resources in order to provide, protect and, 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 and profit amongst you. It doesn't work that way. You sisters need to get y'all shit together. That's what the fuck going on. How about y'all start learning how to be friends with each, with each other again and, and actually want the best for each other? Then maybe the family dynamic can halfway come back together. Can we get a let's go? And, you, and when you take your eyes off, she gives you nothing in the value. And then eventually, like Tom Brady understood, Tom Brady figured this out. Tom Brady figured this out. Remember, Giselle said, if you quit football and come back and be a father, I'll be happy. He quit football and became a father. And she said, I'm not happy. Boom. And he said, hell with that. He figured it out early and said, forget it, I'm going back. Because <laughs> he gave her the time and she still, she ended up sabotaging him professionally, sabotaging his mindset. And he said, you know what? You still are a miserable human being. It didn't even work. 
Boom. All right, there we go. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole point about women needing friend girls. They need to be around that other feminine energy. The feminine energy feeds amongst each other as well, just like the masculine energy does. When men get around other men, we we power up. We power the fuck up like a goddamn video game. We power up. When women get around other women in that feminine energy, they power up in that. You want too much of your man's time, so you gain more masculine energy than you are feminine energy because your man is masculine. You're feminine. You need to be around other women. That's the deal. Now, I'm telling you right now, this is what it is. You women need to get y'all shit together. Y'all need to start learning how to be friends again, wanting the best for each other. And at the end of the day, that's going to start bringing femininity back as long as fam as well as families back. And that, my friends, is the bottom motherfucking line. What the hell? I just said it. Yeah, it is. There it go. That's ten toes down. It is what the hell it is. I just said it. And that, my friends, once again, is the bottom line.